Hey everybody, my name is Brian and let's talk about Magic 8-Ball. But real quick before we do, I want to point out a few things. First, this is specifically for version 119, not older versions. This is for the newest version that just came out this weekend. And ethically, I wanted to throw out there, this is not financial advice. Please trade responsibly. And if you need that one-on-one -on -one training, I have worked out a deal with Vance Lauren and Halcyon from buythenumbers.com. Simply go out to their site and use promo code magic 8 ball five it is honestly world-class training i'm in there myself and i can personally vouch for it there are other mentors in the group and we'll talk about that but by the numbers is really specifically if you need that one-on-one -on -one coaching so definitely check them out in this video well what are we going to cover we're going to cover what is magic eight ball how accurate is it how do you use it the differences between the free version and the subscriber version and a live example. Okay, what is it? What are we really talking about here? Is it some all-knowing oracle or magical crystal ball? No, of course not. It is a highly advanced indicator that uses the full options chain and it's focused specifically on zero DTE. And it predicts what we call soon and end of day, meaning we're gonna tell you where that price is going very quickly and where we think that price is going at the end of the day. This also includes example trades. So if you're a complete newbie, you can just literally copy and paste the trade into Thinkorswim, it's actually awesome. And we have vibrant online communities. Notice it's multiple communities. This is not just an island within itself. How accurate is it? That's the million dollar question. Well, it depends on market conditions, world news, entry time, and your individual trading style. Remember, this is just software. It can't possibly predict, you know, COVID 2.0 or World War III or a big stock market crash, some black swan event. But what it will do is it will tell you what's happening based off the current and past conditions and try to give you a good mark of where we think the market is actually going. We are going to deep dive into numbers like actual money, how much you can make with this, but I want to highlight that each trade this system generates is completely independent, ignorant of anything going on in the world, and it is designed to run to expiration. So when we talk about dollar amounts, we're talking each trade running from the moment you put it on all the way to the end of day expiration. But it assumes that you manage the trade. That being said, it will not tell you when to enter, it will not tell you when to exit, and it will not recommend stops. Although individual people in the group may put out their individual trades and their advice. If you're new to options trading, don't panic. We're going to step through each one of these. At its core, the system will generate three types of trades. A butterfly, a vertical, which is either your put credit spread or your call credit spread, or an iron condor. Each one of those has different fundamentals to it in terms of best entry time and how much money you can make, risk to reward, and things like that. Let's take a look at each one. So these numbers you see before you, I actually did not generate. These were generated by a member of our group who went through independently fact-checking the logs that we publish every single day. And this was for March and April, 1st to the 21st. All three strategies, if you'd taken them, total dollar amount you would have made was $470,079. Basically, a lot of money. And that's if you just blindly took every single trade this thing kicked out, ran it to full expiration, and just didn't care what it did. Um, you can see there's some times, and kudos, I'll definitely mention the gentleman later on in the video, uh, Blues Harp, he did an awesome job in this, but he really also tried to highlight the best entry time. So the overall best entry time seems to be right around 10 in the morning, but it also varies on a per trade basis, and that's what we're gonna look at next. Butterflies. Oh, I have a love-hate relationship with butterflies. They are very low entry cost, and unfortunately, they also have a low probability of profit. The best time that we found is really right around 11 in the morning Eastern Standard Time, and the accuracy only ranges from 3% to 25%. And the reason is you are talking about a directionally neutral trade and a very narrow area in which you want that strike to land. So it's very hard to play pin the tail on the donkey, if you will. But the butterflies in this system totaled out to oh, almost $400,000. Again, amazing risk to reward when you can nail them. But when you lose, you lose. When you win, you win big. These are basically your lotto tickets of options trading. And if you can get really good at them, you can make a lot of money. 
optimal entry time, as Blue Harp has calculated, is around 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Verticals, these are your put credit spreads and your call credit spreads. Again, notice the timing. First thing in the morning, not good. It's actually in the negative, but right around 10 in the morning, that's when verticals in the system really start to shine. And then again at one o'clock in the afternoon. If you're a super newbie and you don't know what I'm talking about, a vertical is a directionally biased trade. You're assuming the price is going up or down. Now, the accuracy in this system has jumped up dramatically from previous versions, and it's up from 80% to about 90 to 95% accuracy in the current version. Um, I've added a lot of code to do directional bias and price tracking, and I'm actually pretty proud of the work I've done. But hey, you know what? This is still an early version of the software, but you can see if you blindly took every single trade, it would have netted you about $41,000. Iron condors, these are in this system the most accurate trade, meaning your biggest probability of success is using an iron condor simply because they are so massively large, but they have a large risk to reward, meaning you're going to be risking a lot of money to make a very little amount of money. However, your optimal entry time for an iron condor is right around 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you notice at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's when your losers really start coming into play. Um, we do have days in the market, what I call condor killers, which is when you lose a condor, you lose big. So when we talk about daily logs, which we're going to do next, if you see negative numbers, usually that's because you had a huge move in price that killed either butterflies or condors. The verticals have been pretty strong in this system. But remember, every single trade, you're taking the trade and running it to expiration. I would not recommend doing that in real life, but when we talk about money and logs, that's what the system's doing internally. Basic overview of everything we just talked about. You can see all of these strategies lined up next to each other. And really what you're seeing here is that butterflies, when they win, they win big. Verticals and iron condors are pretty much neck and neck with each other. Now you notice the entry times are kind of flipped, meaning verticals are least accurate at 9 in the morning, but become the most accurate at 10 a.m. at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Times. Iron condors are usually the most accurate right around 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and least accurate around 3 p.m. And that's because if you enter an iron condor at 3 p.m., you can expect that market to completely rip against you and you're just going to have to fasten your seatbelt and hold on. Now let's go ahead and break this down onto a day-by-day -day basis. This is actually a screenshot of the logs that get kicked out automatically into the group every single day. I'll demonstrate that later in the live portion of the video. But basically at the end of the day, the system will dump a zip file with every single trade that this thing generated. So you can go and independently review it if you'd like. So we're looking at 424 all the way on the left. That's a Monday. And if again, if the print is really small, you can feel free to go through the logs yourself. I had to cram everything on the screen. I apologize. The overall system accuracy on Monday 424 was 99%, meaning 99% of every single automatically generated trade would have expired in profit. Tuesday, 425, notice the accuracy of the system drops down to 49%. Why? That was a big news day, if I remember right. Butterflies, 0% accurate, meaning none of the butterflies made any money. Again, butterflies have the lowest probability of success. Iron condors, 52%, meaning Tuesday was what I call a condor killer. The market moved and it moved very quickly. However, look at the verticals, 95% accurate. So even on a crazy news day, this was just fine if you were in a put credit spread or a call credit spread. Wednesday. Oh, everybody loves Wednesday. This thing was 67% accurate. Again, this was kind of a wildly fluctuating day. Because the price was all over the place, it kind of did like this weird serpentine pattern, but butterflies were 25% accurate, iron condors 100%, and vertical 75 Thursday, things got a little more lively again. I think this was another big news day, and butterfly 0%. Iron condors 41% and verticals 97%. And then Friday, everybody loves a Friday. Accuracy was 77%, butterflies 35%, iron condors 100%, and verticals 98%. So what can you really pull from this little info card here? Basically, it depends on the day, it depends on the trade, it depends on what's going on in the world. So you have to manage your trades. A lot of people will hear something like, well, Magic 8 Ball is 100% accurate on iron condors. It is, unless something happens in the news and then they can get crushed out pretty fast. That's why we have the three different trades. 
For a very calm day, I'd recommend like an iron condor or a butterfly. If you really don't want the risk and the market's jumping all over the place, definitely get into a vertical instead. Again, we've talked about optimal entry times, but I'll reiterate it here. 10 a.m. in the morning is your optimal entry time for verticals and iron condors. And around 10 to 11 is also about optimal for butterflies. One o'clock in the afternoon is also optimal for verticals if you want to do two of them. And in the group, we are actually working on methods to actually pen butterflies at the end of the day. So pretty exciting stuff going on there. Next, we're going to talk about how do you actually use this thing? We got to kind of walk through the theory a little bit here before we show a live example, but it comes with a few different properties. First, it has a text wall and charts. Don't try to zoom in. We're going to cover everything in depth, but just be aware that there's two major parts, a text wall and a chart. The text wall has all the information you need. The chart just makes it look pretty. Okay, the text wall. It is quite literally just a wall of text, but it is broken up into sections, and we're going to run through each one of those sections so you fully understand what it's telling you. The very top of the text wall is the actual prediction itself. For example, in this graphic, it says SPX current price of 4178 is expected to move up near 4185, but will range between 4187 and 4195. This is exactly the core of Magic 8-Ball. You shake Magic 8-Ball up and say, Magic 8-Ball, where's the stock market going to go? And this is what it spits out. Notice we have some key factors here. We have the current price. We have the expected direction, the expected end of day closing, 4185, and the range we can expect it to stay in. Sometimes you'll get people going, well, it says that's the range, but the price is way out of the range. Well, that means it's probably a good time to enter that trade, especially if you're going for a vertical. One thing to understand here is that this will adjust with the market. So if you get in at say 10 in the morning and it says 4185 and at one o'clock in the afternoon, it's saying 4200, guess what? The market's changed and the software is changing with it. A lot of people will log in and go, well, the numbers changed, so it's no good. You have to understand the market moves. This is an indicator and it's tracking where that market's going. The second part of the text wall is supporting metrics. This is the underlying metrics that drove Magic 8-Ball to believe what it just claimed. I'm not gonna go through them all, but let's go over the major ones here. We have a price, a daily trend. This is the price trend and the expected direction. Those two can change. So for example, you can have a daily trend going up, but the price is expected to immediately drop down or dip. We have a range, and then we have what I call the four pillars of the stock market. Inside the software, I've actually identified about 16 of them, but these are the four major ones. There's volume, interest, gamma, and delta. And each one of those kind of combines to form the basis of the prediction. The next part of the text wall is a forecast. This is a lot like a, well, weather forecast. We go a few days out and we try to figure out, hey, what is going on? But notice this is specifically volume. We're not running the complete algorithm on every single day. That's something I want to do in version two in the future. But right now we're just giving you a very basic direction. We're expecting the market to go up or down and the reason why. Now this is useful if you have a position that's not going well for you and you want to roll that position. And the final part of the text wall are the trades. You can literally copy and paste these into Thinkorswim. You don't have to memorize the strikes. You don't have to jump back and forth between screens. And I'll demonstrate how to do this later in the live example. You literally can just copy it right off the text wall and paste it into Thinkorswim. Now, I'm sorry, if you have a platform other than Thinkorswim, I cannot guarantee that you can copy and paste. This is designed specifically for Thinkorswim in that regards, but you can use this with any broker out there. Let's talk about charts. This system has three main charts, and this is the first one. This is called the Magic 8-Ball Prediction Chart. And the main takeaway is green is good. You see the bright magenta line, that is the current price that it's tracking. And the dark green line is the end of day prediction. But the bright green line, that is where we think it's gonna go soon. So in this specific chart, you can see that price is dipped down, but both those green lines are above it. So we can expect that price to shoot up. But on here, we have also those four pillars. We have volume, gamma, delta, and interest. Now, you notice that delta is in red. Delta and gamma play this little game, almost like ping pong or tennis, where they kind of bounce that price around. So usually you'll see that price between delta and gamma. But remember, the price should always gravitate towards the green line. 
If you see that green line move in an opposite direction, that means the market's going to shift very rapidly. The second chart that is kicked out every time a prediction is made is called the quad chart. It takes each one of those pillars I've described, volume, interest, gamma, and exposure, and breaks it out into its own miniature chart with its own miniature prediction. I put this in here in case you really follow one of these, because there's some people that swear by volume, there's some people that swear by gamma exposure, some by interest, some by delta. So I wanted each one of those to have its own little chart. But you'll notice that each one has a bright magenta line, and that is exactly where we think the prediction is going to go for each one of those. It also has a blue profile, so you can see where things are moving. We'll talk about that in the live example. I want to really demonstrate this. And the third and final chart is something I call sonar, which takes all of those from the quad chart, those four things, and merges them into one chart and runs a bunch of calculations on it and says, this is exactly where we believe the market is going. It's so if you just want to cut through all the bull and all the red tape and go right to where's the market going, this is the chart. Now, Sonar is going to tell you exactly where we believe the market is going to go. It's not going to tell you when, however. I wanted to note that Sonar is also available in the options chain for Thinkorswim. You have to add it yourself, and I will cover how to do that, but just know that you can put this directly into Thinkorswim, although you have to kind of manually do the number crunching in your head because this is not a spreadsheet. Thinkorswim is very limited in what we can and cannot do. This comes in two flavors, free and paid. Let's take a look at the free version real quick. There are no text walls, no metrics, no example trades. It only updates every 30 minutes and it has minimal support, meaning I may pop in there once a day and say, hey guys, how's it going? There's a link down below. You don't need a credit card or anything. It's a Discord, so it may pop up and say you have to have a verified phone number. That's not me, that's Discord. I lock the server down as much as I can to keep scammers out of there. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, this is the free version in all of its glory. Um, we've got a basic readme with some links back to my YouTube channel. Tells you how to do it. There's obviously links to my videos. There's a tip jar in case you felt like leaving me a tip because you made some money. Of course, full disclosure, this is not financial advice. General announcements and Magic Sonar. That's right, I released this free of charge. Comes with zero support, but it walks you through how to put that into Thinkorswim. And we have the predictions. And here's the predictions out in the free server. This is live as of right now. This is 2.38 Eastern Standard Time. And you can see this is the chart that's currently happening. Remember, because this is the free version, this is delayed. Now there's the prediction and the prediction just no dive. And we have these green lines. You may wonder what's the difference between the bright green and the dark green. The bright green lines, let me kick this open here. The bright green lines are will happen soon. You notice the price is diving towards soon. The dark green line is end of day. So we are kind of expecting this to kind of bounce back up. Time will tell if that's accurate. And then we have the quad chart or the supporting metrics for that. Just in case you're curious about which one. Now you see there is a spike of open interest down 4140. Volume's kind of all over the place up here. Gamma exposure dropped hard from way up here down to 4160. And there's another node popping up around 4150. Again, this is what I mean by it depends on which one of these you really believe in. So for example, if you're a big Delta believer, Delta's got this massive spike at 4170. All of these are end of day. So for example, if you trust purely volume, volume believes it's going to be 4180. If you're GEX or Gamma, it believes it's going to be 4162. Delta around 4172. Open interest is around 4187, meaning there's still a lot of open interest. People have hopes and dreams. The market's going to shoot back up. And of course, there is a general chat room. This is, for the most part, unmoderated, but if you come in here and try to scam people, I will boot you unapologetically. And we have an education section with some mentors. So for example, we have zero DTE with Ernie, Axe Options, Buy the Numbers, and Certo. Each one of these folks kind of runs their own little business, and you can definitely reach out to them for one-on-one -on -one support. So for example, if I just pop one of these open, you can see Vance, Lauren, and team, they do a live stream out here. And this is free of charge. You don't need to sign up for this at all to access any of this. It's for free, it's actually quite a lot. All right, the paid or subscriber version has a lot more to it. It has the complete text wall, all of the metrics, example trades, everything updates every five minutes. I usually run multiple versions of this. And 
it has a huge community and a lot of support. I'm in there all hours of the day and night. I've even asked a question at two in the morning and somebody answered me. I was like blown away. And we have mentors and experts in there, meaning I am not an expert in options trading. So I have invited actual experts into here who can help you out. And they're very eager to step in and help you with any problem you have. Uh, some of them do have their own paid services, and I have fully vetted those paid services before I put them in here. So no scammers that I'm aware of. If you find a scammer, let me know. But let's take a look. Okay, this is a preview of the subscriber version of Magic 8-Ball. You see the help section. This is your one-stop shop. This is open to the public. Walks you through how to join. You just click the link. I'll put the link down below, but it's launchpass.com. magic 8 ball slash members. Gives you a 30 day free trial, meaning you can try it risk free for 30 days. And once you get charged, it's only $25 a month. So if you took one trade, it's already paid for itself. You give it an email, a credit card, and the email that you use, you'll get an automatic message from LaunchPass. And what you'll do is you'll get that, that little designation code and you'll open up LaunchPass bot. You can either do it here off help click launch pass or you can click launch pass over here and you copy and paste that activation code from your email in here and it will automatically join you so you don't have to wait for an actual human being to get you in here then it has instructions on how to cancel and what to do if you're a scammer which is basically i will block you immediately and if you have any questions you can always reach out to me directly and if you forget there's how to cancel and just open launch pass type in the word cancel hit enter and it walks you through and I do post videos and instructions in here. I will actually post this video in this channel. And I'm not going to go through every single channel, but we have like a tip jar in case you want to buy me a pizza, announcements, questions. Magic Sonar walks you through how to add this. And I'll, I'll talk about that in here in a bit. We have all these chat rooms like general chat, or risk management, options analysis, options strategies, buy and hold, bugs and feedback, developers, break rooms, and logs. I want to highlight logs. Every single day, this system will automatically spill out a zip file. And in that zip file are two files, the Delta tracking the system uses and the profit log. Now, I'm going to crack open the profit log. This is actually just a CSV file. You can open this up in Excel or any other spreadsheet. It shows you every single trade the system generated across every single underlying with the date, time, and the premium, and the predicted close, and whether or not it expired, and the actual trade itself. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. As you can see, there's a lot of trades here. So far, we're just under 2,000 trades. We're at 1,849 trades this thing generated on Friday. Total profit, if you'd blindly taken every single trade, which no rational human being on the planet would do. And then, of course, it has a scorecard for each underlying. So for example, NDX, and I'm going to break these scorecards down. It will have a name. It'll have a profit, and that's if you took every single trade. The overall system accuracy, accuracy for butterflies, and then we have the iron condor accuracy and the vertical accuracy. And each one of these has little subsections, like butterflies. You can see you know, the number of butterflies that were greater than 50% profit versus less than 50% versus pins, zero pins, by the way. And then iron condors, you know, we're 100% accurate, meaning every single iron condor would have made you money. And then verticals, for example, same thing. So we, we detail the profit, the risk, the reward, the ratio, so on and so on. It's actually pretty well. And we have that scorecard for each symbol in here. So for example, here's SPX, here's XSP, here's Apple, QQQ, and I could go on and on. But I like having these logs so you don't have to just trust me like I'm some slimy used car salesman. You know, I'm being very transparent. Those are all of the logs the system generated. And I'll go in and inspect them at well, and I'll put the scorecard in at the end of the day. This is not automatically generated. That is me actually going in and reviewing the logs. Now, that being said, we have a logs chat. And this is where members will independently review these logs and tell me, hey, I think this trade would be more profitable if you did it this way, or I did a deep dive analysis. Let me actually scroll up. I want to give him credit for this because he did a lot of work. Blue's Harp, there you are. He actually went in and dived into the logs, and these are the actual graphics I showed in the slideshow. He did all that analysis, all the samples trades using Jed's 
26 pivot table and he found the best optimal entry point. So what we have here is multiple people in the community coming together to find the ultimate, ultimate entry points and the optimum times and the optimum trades. I mean, we're really working as a community to try to really improve this. So I absolutely love this log chat because it it's not just me trying to figure out, it's the entire community diving in and saying, hey, this is what happened and this is how we can improve. So there's a lot going on there. We also have an education section. Again, I am not a expert in options trading, I'm a developer. So I've invited the experts. So I won't step through each one of these, but like we have zero DTE with Ernie, he's in here all the time. He specializes in butterflies and what he calls asymmetric risk. Uh, Tom with Aramid Trading, Amplified Investing. We have Axe Options, love you guys. I'm in Axe Options all the time. I'm a member of their group. Really vibrant community of options trader. We have, of course, By the Numbers with Vance and Halcyon and team. They live stream every day. Really great group of folks. And then we have some folks from our group, like Serto, even I can trade. He's got his own YouTube channel. House of Profit with uh, Danny and folks. We're in there every day trying to pin end of day butterflies. And then Option Sandy, world class training. Hats off to you, Sandy. Uh, I recently did an interview with her. And I do actually live stream Magic 8 Ball. Let's take a look at that real quick. Here is the live stream. You just double click that and then go ahead and follow me, Brian C, pound 3400. And you'll see Sonar. I'll show you how to install Sonar here in a little bit. But this is in case you don't have Thinkorswim or you just can't get Sonar working. And I do put the trades that I do right in here so you can see what I'm doing. Pretty cool stuff. All right, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the trades here. I should say the predictions and the trades. So this is what the system looks like now. This is end of day right now. We've only got, I think, like 15 minutes left in the market here. So this is 5-1-2023 at 3.43 in the afternoon. We've got literally like 15 minutes. Version 119. And here's our text wall saying 4167 is expected to move up, closing near 41, 40, 4173, but will range between 4167 and 4172. And we have our metrics, our forecasts, and our example trades. Now, being this late in the day, it's, you're hard pressed to find a good trade, but you could copy and paste these. So I'm just gonna demonstrate that. So we could copy this butterfly out. Now, unfortunately, if you're in another trading platform, you're not in Thinkorswim, I don't think you can actually do that. And this would be a butterfly and it would be pretty high risk butterfly. This is what Ernie practices, but he uses asymmetric risk to reward. So he gets into these butterflies super, super cheap and then basically plays pin the tail on the donkey and gets a lot of winnings. I mean, he's actually pretty good at it. I, however, am not. So I wouldn't do a butterfly, that's just me. Uh, late in the day, Iron Condor, we could make a quick 30 bucks. This whole system would pay for itself in the last 15 minutes. Always click that unlock to get the, oh yeah, the recent price because we're so late in the day has jumped down to 15. Let's analyze that trade. This is what the Iron Condors in the systems look like. Huge area, big risk, little reward, but you have this huge area this market would have to really rip against me. That would be an easy $15 if I wanted to make that. Minus, of course, broker fees. And verticals, because it's so late in the day, it's gonna have a zero premium. You can scroll up and see that verticals in the systems do actually have premiums. It's just we're so late in the day that it's just not worth getting into a credit spread like that. All right, now we've got some charts here. We are thinking that the market's gonna pull up. You can see that right here. The price is here and green is good. So it's gonna to go to this bright green line, which is gamma exposure, GEX and it should start pulling up towards this dark green line, but there's so little time left in the market, I don't think we'll quite get there. It'll probably be somewhere in between. Remember, dark green is end of day, bright green is gamma or gex. A lot of people begged me to put that in there. Then we have our quad chart here, and this is, well, you guessed it, the four pillars. Volume, there's a big volume spike right up here at 4200, but the most of the volume's right here around 4172. Interest right here at about 4187. There's a lot of hopes and dreams going on down here at 4140. And then we have gamma and delta, and these things are pretty much solidified on 4171 and 4172. You notice there's a dollar difference between those two. And then if you wanted to, you could use magic sonar, which lives right in the options chain. And let me demonstrate that. 
And you see, this is why I don't like sonar on the options chain. It goes towards the higher number. And real quickly, going to show you how to use this. You would go to Magic Sonar right here, and you would either click the link, and it will try to automatically install it. Doesn't always work. Or you have to go down here and expand this. Copy all this text. Go back into Thinkorswim. I'm going to get rid of that. And you would just take like a custom here. You would open it up and paste it right here. In case you missed it, there was a custom wizard. I clicked on Think Script Editor. You paste that code in there. You give it some sort of name and you click OK. I've already got it in there. I've got it in there as Sonar. And if you wanted to modify it, you just click that little script icon and you can just change the sensitivity of this thing. And this is designed really for scalpers and end of day trades. So you see, I've got it highlighting off about 10,000. Probably not a smart thing to do. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just tweak this a bit and go back to customize. Click that little icon and I'm going to put this at about 70K because you can see that's where we are. Now you may be asking, well, how do you know what number to put that on? Well, it's guesswork to be honest with you. I just do the higher number. The premise here is that the price is going to swing towards these clusters of prices. So we've got this 86 and change with the 70, but then we have these 370s over here, which outweigh these. And then you kind of have to do math in your head and say, well, it's probably going to be in here somewhere. Maybe. But that's why we have this third chart, Sonar, which takes all of that and does all the mathematics for you. And it says definitively, this is where we believe, based on all the calculations, where it's going to go. And it gives you a range. And because we've got like, what, nine minutes left in the day, that range is pretty much right at 4170. The market's screaming 4170 right now. So how would we play this end of day here? 4170? Well, I would probably do maybe an Iron Fly or an Iron Condor. So I would say sell Iron Condor. And I want to make sure I am above here and below there. So let's go with a 4165, 4155. So we're here. And then this one, I want to be around 4180, 4190. There we go. So that would be about the condor I would do. This is more of an advanced trade. This is where I'm looking at sonar, and you can do this either in the options chain or directly off of the predictions themselves. And just click that chart and say, what is the market doing? And it tells you exactly that bright pink line, the prediction where we think it's gonna go. And voila. So I did screw this up a little bit because I have it at 4170s way over here. And if you look at this, Magic 8-Ball is believing that's going to pull up against us. So I would have to now tweak this a little bit here. And again, I'm not a thinkorswim expert, so bear with me. I would just bump this up by 80, 85. And then let's move this up to 65 and 60. And we're only getting 20 bucks out of this because it is so late in the day. But if we wanted to be really, really just crazy about this, we could actually say something like let's do a 4170 4175 something like that again the sooner you would have gotten into this trade the better the premium would have been i would typically do a trade like this around two in the afternoon but that is how you would really play off sonar end of day so that is in a nutshell how you would trade magic eight ball and i realize i whipped through this so let's recap real quick First things first, oh, we got a new prediction here. I would always check the current prediction and I would see what the market is doing and what Magic 8-Ball thinks it's doing. Double check that with the metrics and then, you know, what do you believe? You know, this is not some all-knowing oracle. This is just doing a lot of math. Check the forecast. You'll sometimes see that the next day's forecast will have momentum on short-term price action, meaning tomorrow's an up day according to this. So we think that price is going to swing up. And then we have the example trades, and you don't have to take these. These are just examples and suggestions. Now, you notice sometimes the system doesn't suggest properly because this is still fairly new software, and I'm recording this 
literally six minutes until the market closes. So that's when you have to kind of use your best knowledge. And you know, it's just in this recording, the market's starting to shift because we're in that weird end of day volatility where now gamma is kind of dropping down the screen line, but the market prediction still up here. So the price is likely going to land in between these two green lines. Let's close these other things out real quick. And let's look at our metrics again. This is our quad chart. Again, we got this volume spike at 4,200. A lot of volume up here. The directional bias for volume is up with a factor of 10 strength. Not a whole lot of strength there. Open interest, we have a 0.43 pulled down over to this 4140. So there's a lot of hopes and dreams at 4140. And then, of course, gamma and delta are conflicted between up and down, but we think we're going to be around 4168 and 4171. So let's just look at that real quick here. 4168 and 4171. So I'm going to move this little guy here, 4168-ish. And 4171-ish. So we're thinking it's going to land right in there somewhere. Let me actually kind of zoom this in a bit. Again, I'm not the best with thinkorswim. And of course, as I've been speaking, it actually, the price is moving very rapidly, isn't it? Yep, price is moving. That's kind of weird. Doing this in real time has never really been fortuitous for me, but you can see just in the recording, it's done exactly what we said it was going to do. And just in here, we can look at this risk profile. Oh, you, why'd you do that to me? Come on, thinkorswim. I wish there was like a button I could click that would auto zoom all this in. There probably is. Leave, leave in the comments where that button is. But you can see if I just run this for another three minutes, which I may actually just talk for three minutes and let's see if this trade that I just whipped out off the top of my head without doing any real research actually makes any money. I think it's going to shoot out of here because um, normally what happens is the market gets kind of crazy at the end of the day. So here's our break even lines. If it's between these two lines, this trade that I put on would have been profited and we would have made $115, meaning this would have paid for several months of Magic 8 Ball. And you really could actually just pay for Magic 8 Ball and then go get a nice dinner or something. So I'm not going to touch this, but I'm going to put this in the background for about two minutes and we're going to talk about Magic 8 Ball. One thing I really want to highlight here is the community. Um, so for example, in House of Profit down here, actually, should put my trade in there. So let's copy the trade. And you'll see me do this towards the end of day. And then everybody will kind of critique it. Um, what we're doing in House of Profit is we're trying to nail that, that holy grail, if you will, the end of day iron fly and make just a crap ton of money. Everybody's got their own strategies though. Like um, Ernie with zero DTE, he does asymmetric risk and butterflies. So Ernie's probably like screaming in his monitor telling me I should have done a butterfly. Uh, Tom with Aramir Trading. Amplified Investing, these guys, really great group of guys. They do a mixture of verticals and iron condors. Axe Options, Axe, my home away from home, love you guys. They are kind of a mix mash. Uh, they do a lot of verticals, like put credit spreads and call credit spreads. But there are folks in there that do iron condors and hummingbirds and iron flies and so on. I've learned a ton from those folks, so huge shout out to Axe Options. Buy the numbers with Vance and Halcyon. They are... One of the better coaching services out there, I'd probably say one of the best coaching services out there, they do a lot of like one-on-one -on -one where they actually, and I wish I had the time to do all this, but they will like meet with you and you know say, this is the strategy, this is how we work things, and this is how you can be profitable. We got about a minute left. I want to flip back in here. Where are we at? Yep, so this is kind of moving against us now, as you would expect with end of day. 4170 and change. Oh, there we go, dropping back down into our profit tent. Oh, look at that. And we are right here now. I'm gonna flip back to this chart. And we're just gonna watch this, this is real time. Zero editing, we got 30 seconds left. And let's just see what happens here. I don't like doing these end of day live streams because they're the market's so unpredictable in the last 15 minutes, but I've had a lot of people say, pretty please, I want to see you do this live. So here we go. 
fasten your seat belts. We've got seven, let's see, five, four, three, two, one. Market is now closed. We're at 41.67. Look at how that just ripped against us all of a sudden. Let's see if it dropped out of our profit tent. And it is dead center in that iron condor. So if that was a live trade, I would have just made $115 in, I think I've been yammering away for about 10 minutes now. So pretty impressive stuff. But again, I want to highlight that this is the entire community that's come together here. So I hope you found this educational and entertaining. And as always, if you have questions, please ask in the group. I don't really always follow YouTube and you don't have to sign up. You can go into the free server and ask questions. I hope to see you there. I'll leave links down below. Happy trading.